And this is one of my favorite things. I say quite a bit. Planted. Oh, snake bite to come out. They got uh, no more shark cards actually for Bob. And she's going to spot one right away. Now off the defuse. It's not even halfway, but we are pushing forward for the defenders. And it's going to be a tit for tat. Still an advantage going in for LG as they are closing in the gap right now into cave site. Mata continues to press forward. The defuse is coming in. It's all up to country. He's able to get one and a second one. And the defuse is almost there. Dashes away with success. And that is still going to be the piss around though for Lubin all the way up towards the A-Halls as trying to do a little bit of damage from Ion. But a nice Ooh. kill here from Miniature is going to a flash to come out as doors open at the same time, but we're still able to get a frag there for Jason. Still, advantage coming in for LG as the off angles are paying off for the defender side. Finally, a nice trade-off, a two versus two, and Urchel gets sprayed down to low HP on the top of A-Halls, the light up to come out, and it's a 1v1. Everybody on low health, it's the could be Spike planted. Thankfully, she on this mirror match of these two Silvas. Oh. Recon Dart not spawning Dazzle, who's hiding inside just outside the cave. And Bob really just ready. thought that Dazzle Ow. tucked back in there, and that's going to be a very nice bonus there. One by back towards his aiming side. Oh man, the elbow gets popped, and it's going to be B Dog that pops his chest. So we sit here at A. It seems like they've gotten Tig on maybe getting a little antsy on the push or read that from what they've been doing. B Dog and Dazzle come up big with two of their vans, and the spike hasn't even moved yet. Of Sonic's Iron and Crush moving forward, and it's still gonna be B wow. Dog that still continues to not miss. Need to get a bunch of retakes, but you gotta have the trades. Ooh. Works enough. Coming it's a one, one versus that's one. Be big. Crunchy's gonna get the the, uh, the plat, sorry, into the A site, and that's gonna be Moose going for the full. In a big round. They just keep kind of mounting the way that Sonic's has been buying. They get this one, and they'll really be able to solidify a little bit of armor for the next one. Bull, and every round has been really expensive, which starts to play a part in the game. There's the quick shots, Crunchy with a 4K. Here's that cue, the recon dart, and also on top of that, the, the trap wire. Alert from Ion, it's not going to pay off, so Mana gets that kill. And that was an important kill for Mana. If not, all that utility that I just mentioned from Sky is not going to happen. On top of that, Seekers to come out. b Doc at yeah. the spawn side of the archers. Moose gets the headshot onto Crunchy as Jason is just trying to stay alive towards the ladder. Gets pinged and hit by the Seeker, stuck down towards this ladder as he swings out. Aims down the site. One spotted towards Tunnel. That's the first one down. The underhand to swing out for two blinded opponents, and Jason Ooh. gets the second one. Finally gets traded out, but they're playing a perfect post plant so far. All thanks to Jason. Two more to go. Bob and Miniature. A knock to come out. It connects. And the oh, last one is a trade off. Now the recon dart. You're just running this clock down. It's going to be Mana trying to run for this fight to at least get it a halfway. He still had the L drone for Bob, and she goes for the swing and the kill. And the Sonics gets the round. And on. when you're going for a full execute, actually, they talk about that a little bit later because we're pushing out towards the game side. A uh, trips has to come up huge in the back of this B site. Owl drone on the defender side outside a nest. The spike has not been dropped. Looking for that. Oh, spike he's playing a it. dangerous, dangerous game right now. Woo! Gets another one. Hides does have wall protection. He's heating up with that. Oh, a nice shot as well. Jason with the one tap. That's what I'm talking about when you're playing these two together, but tucked around the corner, we have two media kills. Big so it's up to Jason on looking for a clutch, the first one in the front, now being spammed by Mater right after. A little bit of overextension from Miniature after that first kill, but yeah. you have to make a move uh, for Sonics. It's awesome to see, and definitely worth another watch there. So here comes the break, a look towards that back, Miniature connects with a tool, a nice little one way coming in for the defense at least. Underhand throw does not pay off, Dazzle was not even blinded, an easy bug. As we do have the Tilda Faust, but the cannon is sticking out, spotted by Moose. Viper's pit oh, on round. the attack, 10 <laughs> seconds left on the clock. He's looking back towards that flank. Moose finally takes him from lower B, and it's all up to one player, Ion, who's been warming up before this game. Let's see if he's warmed up enough to clutch a four versus one. b Dog, who's been low on HP this whole round, is still alive. Back towards A main, that is one down, three to go. Snake bite onto the main B site. Oh, he just got tagged a bit. They know he's in this corner. Shock Dark down to 5 HP. Another one close range. We're running outside the smoke, and it's going to be Dazzle that gets the kill. A nice retake for LG. This is something new right here. It's a split very quick towards the A site from mid. It's a 3-2 with one still lurking towards mid side. The ult gets immediately canceled by Dazzle. But we made it on top of the staircase. That's crunchy. Orange down and an advantage by one player so far because Jason's still down with the null command.
Plant play. Moose peeking back out. Looking for that trade. A nice double save that had to come out too. So that's going to spot the last two. That's going to pyramids. But you're going to lose this on time for Dazzle. Looking to save at least your weapon. You're looking okay. to make it expensive. Arn's chasing after him. And... You survived and both trap bars are not actually gone because he gets popped by a zero point and also an all command, but stays alive on the right side of the site, runs in towards the ladder room, and that's gonna be three to fall. Two more lined up, and Miniature finally trades it out. But in the back of the site, Mata's already rotated. Miniature's with this operator, and a bob with the swing out, she does get the headshot on to take. Now down to only one more to go, make that zero. It's just from the attack. While we're trying to just slow things down with this uh, snake bite on the ground, and he still gets the kill on Tabata as he's getting pinged by that Owl Drone. So a great start for the Sonics. Although, oh, traded back, doesn't decide to move. Big shock dark side. Only two players holding right, in towards the mid side doors on the attack. One at gate. It works me. out for a double swing for that kill onto Bob. She falls, cage to come up, miniature at the staircase, and we still have Crunchy. What a swing by Moose. Left. Now making it a three on two forward into the site, so this should be an easy plan for the last two players rotating in. Zero point and flash ready, but they lost miniature right away. Dazzle wants to peek. Dazzle's feeling it. Oh, reloads in the open. What does not thinking that? Looks like we had a lot of stonar dart trickery coming. This time with support from yeah. Mata. Al Jones towards that back. Will ping one. Nice wall bang from Bob that you just saw through the X-ray in Miniature's POV that drops another kill. Now both players that push inside the A-Halls just got dropped, but at least for LG's case, they made it past the A entrance into Bricks. But here comes a couple of stars down from Crunchy, who's been a beautiful yeah. anchor point inside this A site. Try to isolate this one v one against Dazzle, and it works out. Spike Only moves out. <laughs> you just saw a Crunchy standing on, on the other side of a smoke. Like, come on through. Just away, but the lurk's still coming in from that mid side. So we're gonna have that battle towards that front. Here comes actually a recon dart where oh, Crunchy the, dart. the wall bank. But here comes Jason looking towards that back because Dazzle is looking for that flank, and he manages to get that kill. Now Moose dropping in towards Sussy does get headshotted by Crunchy, and we're just getting wall banks and trades that looks perfect for. SQ and then at that site where B Dog gets slowed by the great mark and Jason just gets that big. Jason's going to work. That's more players falling down. Ten seconds left on the clock. We're trying to come in, in here to try to get a kill, but Jason gets a hat trick on top of that around the pillars, looking for the quad, but it's going to be crunchy. Donna should be helping out for B Dog for a bit, but B Dog's like, I'm going to go through. This is beautiful right now. I'm flashing the back of the poison open so he could uh, so he could that pinny site. Yeah, nice back and forth, avoiding a lot of that utility wow. that could be coming at him. Crunchy, though, the controller, for again, trying to hold that territory. The Viper ult comes out, and Miniature's going to answer back quickly. Now we're in the 2v2. One enemy remaining. The Lurk from never moved. After all that, just never moved, and it's looking so good right now for LG to win this two versus one. With that claw ticking down and that snake bite, that solidifies the deal. LG is going to take the lead by two to have a 10 8 score line. Weapon. Ooh, the position held. Nice little flick there by Jay Song to pick one up. And again, a forward read on He's the map. <laughs> He's not. Double flash tries to get himself to Are safety. Jay Song comes up with one. Are you kidding me? Jay Song, how do you still life? And the spray missed, and he gets three kills on top of that to actually give. Man, Jason is just even trying to spray on long range. But that seems to be very strong too. And look at that, man! Through the toxic screen, a kill from Bob onto B Dog and Miniature with the op misses, but at least teleports it to a snake bite. But Crunchy's there once again. They cannot stop Crunchy at this spot. We just we should just start calling this spot Crunchy. Yeah, ooh, Crunchy box. I like it. Oh my word. Oh, he Round snake bite coming in from the door side from Ion. A jump spot from Bob. She doesn't see him yet. And Jason moves in from the back end. And yeah. that's all. Side, but it's also the eco. So you're like, we don't want them to get too close. So they can do things like that. Jason, one shot away. There it is. Unlucky. 145 with the headshot at least take is able to get that kill to avenge his fallen teammate. Ion in the back of the side. A debuff as Tig runs through the top of the screen. Looking in the back of Shadow. Dazzle gets headshotted. One more to go inside that side. And we praise B-Dog, but with the Marshall in a three, make that four versus one. Very difficult to do. Incredible stuff. This, this controller composition...
with kind of the Sentinel Viper coming through, early frag or early info, and then you just had JSON. Control to teleport away, get information, and while that happens, it allows Moose to lurk down, but Bob, she turns around. Small rotation over, all from the front. So Unlucky. Oh, they only have one spot to run, fish in a barrel, and Crunchy comes up with another one. Oh, they're going to be able to work this. That way, Crunchy Very with well, the headshot on the dig. Spike is now down. Two more kills to go to win the map. As Bob, she's holding in the One back of the site. Remaining. One more to go as it's going to be B-Dog. Okay, with the operator. Null command and lookout. He's trying to look towards that back of the site. And somehow, somewhere, somebody's going to peek at some point. But there's 30 seconds left. And the spike is down left. out in the open. Very, very patient play by Sonic so far. And that recon dart might give some information. So he dashes towards the front of tunnels. But it's still going to be... ...that split into the site. Very cheeky stuff. Here it goes. Let's see what they have. They have a frenzy from Dink, a headshot, and a second kill with a dink onto Crunchy as well. Dink went to work. More frenzies going to work. This triple stack inside the B site was nothing but frenzies. And it was a hectic round for SQ that just got dropped. Only a miniature to go. Eight seconds left. Cannot connect with the headhunter. And he's going to fall to his grave. Another friend they could do on the A site. What is a setup for LG? So they know a trap bar there. They know now that Moose is playing towards his A site. We're pushing towards screens. But it's just going to be mowed down and locked down. And last one spot. It, and it's gonna be a prime game the side of sonics and they fully get the clear after everything has been pressured oh. successful tag probably mm -hmm. it definitely blinded them we just didn't hear it on her side at the distance they're gonna keep working that spike towards mid for now as they know this is gonna be it nine is able to take down dazzle so information that two players are playing towards b main jason going with the fragment on top with the vandal left. to stop mana in his tracks Ein's clearing out that b site it is open for business Jason playing towards the hell side, down low on HP. Crossfire looking to be set up, and it's still going to be the backstab from Jason playing down towards lower hell. And finally, Tig is there to try to avenge his teammates. A little bit of overheating from Jason that turns it around. Ion still closing in. Ringing around to Rosie at that pillar. Both of them looking towards the back of the site. Here it comes. Both of them are now out. Ion made his way towards Orange Wall. Back towards the main side, gets tagged at oh 27. Gosh. That spike looking to be the fuse, and it will be after Tig gets the kill with the Vandal that he picked up. Keep rolling on what could be a forceful equal round next time, and then another round when they need that blade. When she starts off, though, he's back to those first exactly bloods, Vans. And here comes the hat to get some information. Enemies are now spotted. Moose out in the open. A fault line to stop, and a crunchy. That's three on the board, looking for the fourth, but it's a look looking to get stopped here by Bob, but she gets denied by Mana. That is now a four on two. Uh, Spike will now get planted. Lurk from miniature. And he's just able to almost do it more than he should. He did it on Breeze. He's doing it here. B dog lay down the verdict. The peak. He looks towards the air and fortunately on the top of the rafters, and that's going to be special with the camera. But it's a rolling Ooh, thunder cosmic. that's going to clear a bit. Cosmic divide towards that heaven. Lots of pain shells just to clear utility from the trap wires. But here comes a defender cosmic divide as well. Flash Moose is now half blinded. A ping coming oh out. My word. Here comes a showstopper. We talked about it before, but it does not connect. Moose still alive on the other side of the wall. There's only six seconds left. We're peeking through everything. Oh, door and a hand of flash coming out from Jason. Out of bullets. Out with the classic. Does not connect with the kill, but there's no time left. B Dog comes in for the save, and it's just going to be a 2v1 in the end. On this, if they have the protection trademarks and the trip wires, they're going to keep them safe, but can they get the B take? So good right now. We have Moose. Stay all the way far back oh so that word. his traps can still stay up, but that's not good enough. Sonics are now closing inside that site, and they plow Tig and B-Dog to get a plant for B-Man. 3-2 split. It's like the one you can apply to anything. And it was pretty... We're just trying to avoid the Boombot and trying to go through Swing Out, and Miniature wins that fight against B-Dog. Oh my word. That's not usually something that happens. Both just miss. And you're walking away to say maybe maybe a different part of the map. A quick catch. The push from Dazzle and Moose. Very aggressive from LG. To get information. But can they make that decision a better one? Dazzle says no. And a flash running on that clock, trying to get the plant, and that's Mata. We talked Ooh. about the raise operator. Yep, it worked there. And the snap uh, execute. It looked great on that round. Here we're back to guns on both sides. And it's the opposite. It's actually LG, LG. pushing down towards Ooh. mid side.
And that's spiked down towards market, but at least not known by LG because it was dropped at the beginning of the round. What? And we talked about a little bit more pressure towards the A side, trying to force our rotation. It doesn't pay off. After a couple players moving down, it's like, okay, well, it's time to actually regain rounds. But Tig just takes full advantage of people not even looking at him there. Unfortunate to see. Great for Tig. Very happy to pick those up as I am trying to make quick work of some pressure. Almost gets the second one, but at least they get the spike climb down. But closing in are the rest of LG. Two swinging out from the A ramp, and it's going to be B Dog that takes off the head. For you, Vans, they're going to be dropping into hell and making some noise. Take is actually playing outside of his smokes. Here comes also a showstopper from Mono at spawn side, and they're just going to try to play contact off take. There's that kill, a showstopper inside. Big trades. trades for Sonics, though. It's a three on three. Already closing in, though, from defender side, and it does not connect onto the kill for Jason, but at least crunch us to make sure that he doesn't get knifed through that. They literally identified him with a little gust. Oh, but they didn't know he's on new box! They just didn't know the full on round after round, and he spots so much information. That's three players. Seekers coming out on the defender side. Here comes a dink from Mana on the top of heaven. Strain through the boxes. It's still gonna be LG all across the board with three falling down. Bob and Iron trying to retaliate, leaving only Iron alone. Still has a way that he's gonna be able to win this one here. Back at the orb side, a little bit of damage onto Iron. A swing on top, and Mana gets up. Here comes the frenzy parade. Nice trap wire, and that allows Bob to get the first kill aftershock to prevent anybody from pushing through with the frenzy to trade back. But look at that luminosity gaming going back through the ropes, going back to heaven side, trying to make it into the A site, and it's gonna be a zero Ooh. point that spots Dazzle for Ion to get the kill. But off the flank, off the lurk, Tig does get the headshot into Bob, where they could potentially rotate back if they want to, but not need it. They're mowing down towards the spawn side. Jason with another kill. They don't know where Miniature is at, though. There's 20 seconds left on the clock. The jump's coming in from... Enemy remaining. <laughs> from Moose as Miniature connects with a headshot from the Headhunter. Hunting down some heads. And so is Crunchy with that last kill. And that we could potentially get a swing, but it's smoked out on the ropes. We're still pushing out. He doesn't care. Miniature, though, gets punished for that. And we try to pinch in for another push from ropes. But it's just going to be Jason holding back behind that smoke. This is difficult here with this angle. The first headshot, aiming down the side. That's two, but eventually gets stopped by Mata. Ooh. Burst fire friendly there coming from Vance. Ooh. Mata gets turned around with that bulldog to make sure Bob goes down. And now it's going to be a 3v2 in favor of LG. Split across the map. One defender on each. And set up crossfire just to make sure nobody's pushing in towards the spawn left. side. So Crunchy gives that up. They're both going to clear out spawn side first oh, and work together inside. Fever, he swings out for the kill. Spike, Spike down, is down. B. Vans. Possibility is growing. Planted. Surely they can get their way into the site and take this. Tig takes one down, making it that much harder, but it's crunchy. We're about to see a double swing very soon off contact. Crunchy's moving forward. There's that first kill through the box, looking in towards hell, but was looking in towards heaven first. And thing up top, nothing down low, and then they plant and scatter. But when they took the site, two came from B main, right? And Crunchy was sitting right on the pole, where he has been for like the past three or four rounds. And whether that's where he likes to play or when, or at least when he's there, when they force everybody on Sonics out of position, that's where the play we may have seen them taken a different time if there were more rounds to be had. But now they do not. A little bit of A control from the reverse side now here from LG. There we go, that's the battle we were talking about, but unfortunately there was a great coming out from A side as well. B Dog wow. taking control Man. of the A side, Heaven 2, the Cosmic Divide to come out. Maybe an underhand flash, but it misses. It didn't cross the wall, so an easy kill for B Dog. And this is gonna be it. Maybe not. A revive coming out here from the Null Command, so it's a 2v2. And that allows another flash to be out in the open for Jason. They also had three stars to work with for the defense and the Seekers from the attackers, though, spots the last two. And a beautiful position from Tig, making sure that Heavenside yeah. is covered. Well, it's planted for Heaven, too. So he's in a great position right now for this pulse plant. Dazzle just has to run that clock down. You're seeing he's expending everything. Two flashes, looking back and forth, swinging back and forth as well. Loses the fight, but that clock is ticking down. Tig. Try to Open love back plant. towards Heaven, but we talked about three stars. He has a Cosmic Divide, and here comes the Gravity Well. 
A swing out from Jay Sung, but unfortunately, Tig is going to be able to teleport. comes back towards the B side. Uh, but there's no. still another one holding back towards U Haul, and oh, that's Mata. So they fight in that area. Meanwhile, though, we're holding on both ends, and finally, Tig is finally opening. The B side is weakened. It's up to Iron. Two heads are now spotted, but it's still Moose that's going to save his teammate, leaving Crunchy on his own. 30 seconds. Great little back and forth Spike here from plan. LG. They had so much control on U Haul, making it so convincing, and then saying, you know what? We don't have control of the site yet. There's a lot over there because of the util they felt, how many shots they heard. Made a quick mod up there for a little bit of audio. Off pushing down. Ooh. Catches take off guard, and that's a big kill to start things off. Just to continue to try to work their way towards the fall. It's a beautiful wall. Bit of the read back here. I mean, we have a push up coming in from Miniature, so he knows that no one's going to be pushing mid right now. Shower is going to be watched. So a lot of Sonics can start to focus on doing some peeks, doing some spams. A little bit of a chase there as Moose picks up Spectre. Going to run this one through to figure out what he actually has surrounding him. He wants him, his Vandal. So. Yeah, yeah. He can make it out alive with that. Nope, not going to happen gonna be the guided light from Mata that pushes him away. I am pushing down. Look at this timing. He's gonna light up too, but only gets spike one. Down. Thankfully, though, that's the spike. That's info. That's miniature. Also headshotting Mata. Sands with Moose. Well, we still have a lurk yeah. from Take on the outside, though, and the spray almost missed. Let's see how they play this one out. Freeze that fear. Spike down A. And one down off that stat, off that stat Ooh. unfortunately. Just out to sight. Yeah. Gotta love it. Planning in the back, so the pain shells are going towards that front, so it's going to be a clear plant now. Hurry, but an enemy spotted there, and we're trying to connect into that. And here's that kill. One more inside the Viper. Poison Orb in his hand. Recon Dart going inside the pit. And here's the swing from Bob, and she gets the kill. Down. Gets blinded. That's Ion. Here's that dash of Blade Storm to come out, but it's still going to be Bob that saves his teammate from the corner Bob. at the shed. Bob, Bob goes for a quad kill. It looks for the ace down, and it's going to be hurt by Miniature, and that's going to be so an bad. easy ADS with the headhunter. Tack on top of that, pinging a little bit of his teammates, and yep. Ion tries to run back out, gets stopped by Moose. A lot of utils still up. You can see how they're trying to play cat and mouse in this. Jay Sung just on the other side. He's going to be revealed now as he goes for the reload. No, Mata actually just pulls it out. Great round coming in from, i say, both sides there. It really played towards showers to allow this control to happen. And Miniature trying to swing out off the Aljone that he hears, but unfortunately looks in the wrong corner. A swoop peek. Jay Sung with two kills. Spike is down. Crunching in front of the showers. And that's going to drop two as well. Dig on his own. On his own. Faster when you're trying to play a 3v1. Doubling up a very nice play. Well, in his spot three. Oh, it actually pings one. Thankfully, it's actually the jet that it pings. So the dash away, but it pings somebody else and gets the kill on the dazzle. It's been starting. Come on, like another pickup from Moose. We've seen this the second time. He actually went down last round. For luminosity, you're creeping up towards Hookah. You're creeping up towards U-Haul. Yeah. You lost that initiator earlier on, and it works out. As the TP goes back, you gain control of U-Haul. Yeah, you lost a player towards Hookah, but at least we were able to gain a little bit of ground. And here comes the showstopper. Another big trade. B Dog's on by himself, looking for this clutch. 24 seconds left on the clock. The spike is down. Just by the teleporter, and it's being watched over by Ion. So at this point, Bob, the off angle. The Still the hold oh by Tig and Showers. They're going to go back to U-Haul. It was up to Crunchy, and that time it did not go his way. Definitely I was off the goop because I thought I heard the Seekers before, but that's perfect for the move inside the A site now. And the plan around, but we've closed in another Viper inside the pit, and it's going to be Ion. That's the first one to fall. A big controller. A big controller, and Tig to fall as well. But the Viper's pit is still up. That clock is still ticking down. Moose is still holding by the APC. One enemy remains. And that's going to be it. Moose. Very difficult to retake for this one here. Miniature has nothing but the Headhunter and off. Bit of a trademark that's going to spot the lurk from Moose. The wall's coming down. He gets gravity oh, no. weld, and that's an easy kill for Miniature. He's right in the trap. That'll mauled you a little bit. <laughs> You're like, oh no, I'm jumping. Few more rounds here for LG to cap back to even. Dazzle with a nice shot, oh looks my. straight down and just drives some shots into Ion Vance. That was a nice flash to allow Dazzle to peek out to get that frag. Oh. So it's going to make it even more difficult. And Al drone to follow behind the Cosmic Divide. That's going to spot a few players right there. Mana's holding it close. Shock Dart, do some damage. Oh, he misses a couple of shots, but at least, like I said, B Dog on the top of that shelf is going to get that second frag. That's going to be it. Six to five. For him. Nice. Snake bites on the ground just prevent this push from coming through. That leaves B-Dog on his own. Holy 
man. We got a bloodbath going in with these trades. B Dog still getting pinged, still trying to move out towards the elbow side, looking close range against Bob. The opponents, his teammates, are actually moving inside this B site. Rotate has come back, but here comes a big flank. But look at this moose in the back of Hookah, where potentially cannot be checked. Yeah, it's not going to be checked. Oh, it's being checked. And Crunchy gets it. The headshot right there. The game sense coming out, but Dazzle's holding in the back. Crunchy's now on his own. Late storm outside, and it's going to be a floating kill from B Dog to end the half and tie it up towards uh, towards shower. Sorry, and that hookah battle is happening. That Jason loses. Shock dart coming out towards that B site. A counter shock dart from Dazzle. As no damage coming through, but Miniature does get the lurk kill back towards U Haul. So that TP that you called does happen, but we still have a late lurk from Crunchy at Octagon. Left. Frenzy close. And somehow, <laughs> Iron gets the kill onto Tig as it gets traded out. And here comes the TV back into the B site. I like the audacity has miniature, uh, miniature has sometimes of yep. just jumping into something or up C ramp or up uh, split ramp. Sorry. Here it is. Few and tube. The retake for Moose. Spike planted. Hanged last out. Ooh, a nice headshot. And Bob with the frenzy with the last few bullets and a sight. Thankfully, though, we have Snake Bites on the defender side. Paint Shells to come out. Booster's oh, dancing right. around the window. Under the window, Miniature, meanwhile, does manage to get the kill after all onto B Dog at A site. So that might pull the rotation back towards A. Mata, meanwhile, does get the kill towards Long B. Tig Sonic's pushing forward towards this A site. One inside shower to set up this crossfire with Tig. A little bit of a gravity well, but Iron's out in the open, about to get backstabbed if we get the swing from Tig. And there it is. Trailblazer ready to go. We have some sprays coming out. Jason with the swing and a headshot, aiming down the sight from the bulldog. Pain shells in the front of the in the front of the sight. A flash coming in from the defenders, oh but it's a word. two versus two. ADS, oh, another dink. But here it comes, Bob swinging out and not enough HP, unfortunately, to clutch it. For a run like this, where you don't want to get an eco, keep your money up. And they spot one inside the smoke tank pushes. Miniature pushing outside from a smoke. And at the same time, the Seekers from Mana just around the corner that hits him. Miniature back with the Headhunter. What a battle inside here. And finally, Mana capitalized on the top. Meanwhile, though, it did get a plant. But it's not going to be off the back of Iron, so they don't have a Viper's Pit. And Iron gets popped. Ooh. That's what happens. Blank, they know they're getting pinched a little bit here, Vans. It's getting kind of stressful for them to be playing this post plan for so many. One Starts off with a guided light to actually get a little bit of information, and that forces a rotate right away from Moose. But a showstopper coming out that drops Tig, a key player so far, and a little bit of uh, over peaking, overzealous from Bada, but at least it gets traded by Moose. Moose spotted another one here inside Hookah, but we are trailing inside the site for Sonics inside B. A counter spray as well through the trophy room, but it's not going to connect into anything yet. Spike has now been planted. A fast rotate coming out from Hookah, and that's two players closing in. But meanwhile, we're pushing out towards Elbow. We do get a kill. We've cleared up towards spawn side. A snake bite, and also Dazzle looking at the wrong angle. B Doctor push out, and Ion gets the wall bank to save that round here. It's gonna be a big spike win. is ready because they have a, a, a cosmic divide on defense. They're just trying to pull the rotation out. And here comes that right. timing. 13 seconds off of the clock. Iron gets the kill. They're moving inside the A site. Off shot missed by B Dog. And Iron pushes forward. It's a 3v3. They've lost their player towards B, but it doesn't matter. You get the Q. They're holding in towards U Haul. A battle as they push down towards Spawn Sun and Jason. Recon Dart. They're holding it safe. That spike is still down as Iron. He's been a hero into this round. A triple kill. A jump peek out from Mata. And he does he have a flash? He does not have a flash, but he has Trailblazer, but they won't be able to use it. They have to try to close in quick because that clock is ticking on that spike. Iron in the back of triple as Crunchy gets the kill outside from U-Haul. Moose is on his own. It. You're going to TP to save your gun. And that... Ooh. Does he go for the next corner? Spike planted. Oh, he's just out. He knows. The way he really feels like it's going to happen. Wow, B-Dog. Game sense. Same for Miniature. The pop off, one off at the Heaven side. So a four versus four. But this is going to be hard to hold here for Sonics because they've given up. They've forfeited to uh, Showers, which is why you have Bot moving forward. Here comes the Diffuse. It's already at halfway. It's off the halfway mark. Mata does get the kill off to Jason. Crunchy trying to fight back. A push up here. An off shot from Miniature. And this is going to be huge right now. Off that lurk that I mentioned before. Here comes that peek out. The headshot. Recon dart on top of that. But low HP is Bob. Halfway mark. It's off the spike. The spray now from Mata. The timing off the spike again. And Bob is a half buy. And this is going to be one crucial fight. 
elbow spot it, and now headshot it. Another to peek out, and inside the A site now. There's 15 seconds left at the same time. Here comes the Black oh, Armada. Dear. The hero play, the ping out, but it gets killed by Jason. He's on fire as well, and they'll get this plant with six seconds, five seconds left on that clock. We'll talk about it later, but I feel like that was played incorrectly. Looking at how they can get back into this site. B Dog and Tig now using a few stars and a bit of the dashy flashy to get back in here. And they're going to have to play this hip and hip to make it happen, which makes it even harder. You're kind of relying on one person plus checking oh, yeah. a billion angles. And they go for it. There's one. And when oh, when Tig doesn't have any stars left to work with and somehow kills Crunchy, so that's going to be a star away for the defuse. A jiggle peek. Bob going to work. It's now a one versus one. A tap. B Dog swinging out. Here's the footsteps. Another swing out. Oh, but it does not Huge. connect. B Dog is going to be able to get this kill, and it is going to be potentially the defuse coming in. Is there time? He that they're going multiple games today. Sonic being able to use the double. Oh, probably on top of APC. So a huge kill from Jason to start things off. And here he comes aiming on the site, but he gets punished by. And she's going to be forced to just try to get recon information back on her end. And somehow gets the headshot of the Dazzle. We're getting kills left and right. That's so random, but in fruition. Mata then wins his fight. Crunchy pushing through with a couple of shots. We're staying alive as Tig finally gets traded out. But it's a two versus two. 22 seconds left on the clock. And with those kills, it is a cosmic divide. We should be able to get this plant. We're trying to pick up the spike on top of that as a snake bite was on top of that spike. 12 seconds left on the clock. Another sneak bite. You're going to have to oh. go back on the other end. Oh, and we have nine. a flash coming out from Mata. It's Moose. They're looking for this double swing. The plant will happen here. There's a swing right after. The timing. And they get the first kill. It's Planet One Crunchy. Three. Just get the headshot. And that gets wall banged by Moose. And it was almost a clutch coming in from SQ. Dang, so this is kind of a learning lesson. Mata was so close to the Cosmic Divide, he could hear that plant. And knowing the timing of a plant, he was counting in his head because you saw... Literally at the last sliver. You force out the Viper's Pit and you hit through with this. Four players, three players right now inside Hookah. Nades are coming out. Jason pushing in. He gets popped off by Dazzle. A one player advantage now for LG. Four more kills needed. 20 seconds left on the clock. The teleporter coming out, but still two players from LG inside sight. And it's off B Dog and Tig. And B Dog has a judge. This is so scary. There's 12 seconds left. A flank coming in from behind from Moose as well. And the Blade Storm's the first one to ring. Eight seconds left. Six seconds left. Dazzle getting some frags. Crunchy trying to stay alive. And that's going to be it. The, wow. the spike has been planted, unfortunately.